All right, going to show you some pretty ironic evidence that these pro-abortion Democrats actually hate states' rights. And the ironic thing about it is that they basically claim, they go on claiming, well, um, basically, what, essentially what they're saying, I'll put it this way, they're saying that giving states the right to vote, to vote on abortion instead of forcing it on federal law is a violation of what they call democracy. Uh, so apparently giving people the vote is a violation of democracy, according to them. And they can try to deny it all they want, but really, when you get down to what they're saying, that is essentially what they're saying. That because what all this, all the the Supreme Court document was saying, was that we're going to get rid of Roe v. Wade, or, or that they were saying that we're wanting to do that, basically. Maybe not that exact wording. I guarantee I'm going to have my people, the people that just don't like me, t twist my words and, and take this slip up I made and blow it out of out of proportion. But basically, they were simply just saying, hey, give the states the right to vote on, on whether they want abortion or not, not force it on federal law with Roe v. Wade, which is what Roe v. Wade does. And by the way, there's no there's no part of the U.S. Constitution that codifies abortion. I want to point that out as well. But these pro-abortion Democrats are saying that they want to codify Roe v. Wade because they claim, according to them, giving states the right to vote on it is a violation or a trampling of democracy. You know, that's what democracy is. You know, what's commonly called democracy the right to, for the people to vote on stuff. But gonna read this article on NBC News. Uh, it says Democrats push to codify Roe after leaked opinion, but they have not, they don't, basically they don't have the votes to do so, I'll put it that way. Not good at reading on a computer. Uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer posted or promised a vote to enshrine abortion rights protections after the leak of a draft opinion that would overrule Roe v. Wade. Um, that's what you call undermining democracy, forcing it instead of giving people the right to vote on it giving states the right to vote. You see, states' rights, these, these pro-abortion pro Democrats hate the concept of states' rights. It's that simple. They don't like that. They don't like the idea of the states actually choosing instead of having it forced upon them. Okay, uh, it says on the article, a leaked draft of a Supreme Court opinion that would overrule Roe v. Wade has prompted new calls from Democrats to codify abortion rights protections into federal law. But then they claim that giving, but then giving states' rights is a violation of democracy, but this is not apparently. Uh, but even though they would control the White House and both chambers of Congress, they don't have the votes. Well, they're not going to get any help from dementia Joe Biden after he takes his third nap of the day. He might just have enough energy to look into it. But, you know, who knows? And after that, he'll need a fourth nap of the day. You know, because the guy is, is very senile. I'll put it that way. But even though they control the White House, they are unlikely to find them under the current configuration on Capitol Hill, where they hold slim majorities and face fierce Republican opposition. Quote, I think we need to once again bring in the Women's Health Protection Act up for a vote that would guarantee that Roe v. Wade would be the law of the land, said Amy Koblacher. I'm not going to bother saying her name. I, I can't pronounce these names on my computer. Uh, she's a Democrat from Minnesota. Said Tuesday on CBS News, quote, our Republican colleagues have... Very sadly, for the women of America, have been blocking that from coming up to a vote. I, blocking that from coming up to a vote. But I believe that we need to immediately call it up for a vote again. So, so forcing it by federal law, not giving the states the right to vote again. This is not what democracy. This is the exact opposite of democracy. Uh, the Women's Health, continuing on, the Women's Health Protection Act passed by the House by a vote of, of 218 versus 211, 2211, sorry, with every Democrat except Harry Culler of Texas voting in favor of Republicans unanimously voting against it. It has 48 co-sponsors in the Senate facing opposition from Democrats Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Bob Casey of Pennsylvania, both of whom describe themselves as pro-life. Well, they got, there are some, those are some Democrats that have some common sense. Republican Senator Susan Collins of Maine and Lisa Murawski of Alaska say they favor say they favor abortion rights but do not support the Women's Health Protection Act. So Senate Republicans have also led a filibuster of the bill. It was blocked from being debated in February on a vote of 48 to 60 with six senators missing the vote. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, a Democrat from New York, said the chamber would vote on the issue again. So, claiming that it's a violation of democracy but then forcing it and denying states' rights. Sure. See, these pro-abortion Democrats are a bunch of hypocrites. And, and just social liberalism in general and hypocrisy just go hand in hand. But just yet another example of proving that social liberalism and hypocrisy and the pro-abortion lobby, hey, that rhymes too, uh, all that just goes hand in hand. You know, they, you cannot separate one from the other. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that, just the utter insanity from the pro-abortion Democrat lobby. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.